Hi, this is Handy TF. In this video, we are replacing thermostat in a Whirlpool Energy Smart Water Heater. This water heater has one special electronic thermostat. The standard water heater has two thermostats, upper and lower one. This water heater has only one upper thermostat. Before we start, turn off the power to the water heater. Remove the upper plate. Lift the insulation flap, and use a piece of tape to hold the insulation flap, up and out of the way. You want to take a photo and label all wires before removing any wire. Remove the plastic cover from the heating element. Disconnect the 9-pin connector by depressing the locking tab and pulling straight out. Loosen the three screws, and remove the wires by pulling straight away from the terminals. Pull the thermostat up and away from the mounting bracket. Disconnect the 5-pin and 2-pin connectors by depressing the locking tab on the right of the connector and pulling straight out. I use a tape to mark the two wires in second terminal on the left, so it will not be mixed up with the wire we are going to remove next. Loosen the two screws on the bottom of the thermostat and remove two more wires. There is a tiny screw on the thermostat holding the ground wire, it is so tiny, so be careful not to lose it. There is a clip on the thermostat holding the ground wire, I have to break it with a small flathead screwdriver in order to remove it from the old and put it in the new. Now it is time to install the new thermostat. Use that tiny screw to connect the ground wire to the thermostat, because the screw is so tiny, actually it is not easy to put it back on, and took me several try. Connect the two wires to the bottom terminal before putting thermostat back in the mounting bracket. Push the thermostat back down the mounting bracket, and reconnect the two wires on the top two terminals, the space is really tight, and top two wires are very short, it is struggle to put them back into the thermostat. Got my finger cut by the sharp edge, so be careful. Reconnect two wires to the second left terminal. Hi, please hit the like and the subscribe buttons below, this will encourage me to make more free videos to help more people. Reconnect all three connectors by pushing straight in. Put back plastic cover on the heating element, and the insulation flap, reinstall the top plate. Finally turn on the power to the water heater. The water heater will go through some diagnostic checks and may not heat the water for approximate 8 minutes. Please like and subscribe, thank you for your time, Handy TF. 